the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the spill error in Excel. The Excel spill error, commonly referred to as a spill error, is a very common problem affecting users who use the Office 365 versions of Excel. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through some important methods to troubleshoot this error. But before we do that, we need to first understand what spill means in Excel and what is exactly causing the problem. The latest version of Excel in the Office 365 subscription comes with a set of formulas that support dynamic arrays. This means that these formulas can do multiple calculations and return multiple values at the same time, unlike a normal Excel formula. In case there are multiple results, they are filled up in the adjacent cells to the formula cell. This is called spilling in Excel. So now, what causes the spill error in Excel? In most cases, the reason is very simple. Some values might already be present in the spill range of a dynamic array function. This will create a conflict and Excel will alert you with a spill error. But in some cases, the reasons are not so obvious. There might be other reasons as well, like invisible values blocking the spill range, dragged formula blocking the spill range, or unsupported or improper use of dynamic arrays, etc. You have to look at each such error carefully to determine what is causing the problem. Let us now see how to fix the spill error in Excel. To fix it, first identify the error message displayed by clicking on the yellow warning triangle inside the error cell. In the next section, I'll walk you through each of these error messages and teach you how to tackle them one by one. First, if the error message in the spill range is not blank, it means that some value or formula is obstructing the spill range of your dynamic array formula. To fix this error, clear the entire spill range after the dynamic array formula, or move the dynamic array formula to another location. If the spill range is visibly clear but still causing the spill error, click on the Select Obstructing Cells option below the error message. This will highlight the cells that are obstructing the spill range. Delete them to remove the error. Next, if the error message is spilling inside tables, it means you have inserted a dynamic array formula inside a table. Please keep in mind that dynamic array formulas are not supported in Excel tables. To fix this, either move the formula to another location or format the table as ranges. If the error message is spill range contains merge cells, it means that one or more merge cells are obstructing the spill range. To fix this error, unmerge the merged cells or delete them. If you cannot visually locate them, click on the Select Obstructing Cells option to select them. Now, if the error message is spill range is unknown, it means that you are using a dynamic formula inside another dynamic formula like this. Here, the first dynamic formula cannot determine the size of the spill array returned by the second dynamic formula. In other words, the second dynamic formula is volatile. To fix this problem, you have to replace this volatile function with a better alternative or find some other way to do the task without using it. If the error message's spill range is too big, it means your dynamic array function returns a spill array whose length extends beyond the edges of your Excel spreadsheet, 1,048,576 rows. This can happen due to many reasons. But the usual cause is a poor choice of formula, where the columns are used as references instead of ranges of cells. To fix this, either use ranges or cells as references inside the formula. But note that this will make the dynamic array formula into a normal formula. To keep using the dynamic formula, just use an implicit intersection inside the formula by inserting an at sign in front of the column reference that is causing the problem. An implicit intersection is a fancy way of asking Excel to force multiple values into a single cell value. This will usually fix the error if the spill range is too big. That's all folks. In this guide, I've covered everything you need to know about Excel spill error. If you have questions about this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comment section. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.